Pharmacist Ben Fuchs, welcome back to our show. I love these short little educational videos with you. I learned so much awesome. and we are just uh, loving the truth treatment products. Um, you can tell they're designed by a pharmacist, made for pharmacists. Yeah. Um, pharmacist, it's easy for us as pharmacists to talk to our patients about it. Um, and the one we want to talk about today, which we've already had some um, luck with uh, recommending to patients is Omega-6 Healing. Tell yes. us about Omega-6 Healing Cream. All right. So it's got a really cool story behind it. And I'll tell you what that story is. But first, let me just say, I'm not a beauty guy. And I always felt like the missing link in skincare was we were focusing on beauty, but not on health. I'm a healthcare, like you, we're healthcare professionals. Right. I don't know anything about the beauty business, but I know about health. And I always felt like in skincare, we focus, we try to hack into beauty focusing on how the skin looks and how it appears without addressing the health of the tissue. And the reason is partially because nobody really understood how to address the health of the tissue without going into drugs. You know, pharmacy is a lot about drugs. And so to really create changes in the skin, you have to enter into the realm of medicine. You have to enter into the realm of drugs. Well, I've always found my, I've always gravitated towards nutrition. And I always felt like you could accomplish the same things with nutrition that you could with drugs without having to enter into the realm of all the legality and toxicity and side effects and all the downsides of medication. Nutrition gives you everything you want in a medication. And so I wanted to create skincare products that would address the health of the skin, that would heal the skin in order to accomplish beauty and in order to accomplish the goal of beauty. And they would use nutrition to get to that point, nutrients. So all my two treatments are essentially nutritional supplements for the skin. And they heal the skin in order to accomplish beauty. But of course, if you're healing the skin, you don't just get beauty benefits. You get benefits for cuts. You get benefits for scrapes, for burns, for rashes, for all the things that all the uh, uh, kinds of side effects or, or uh, issues that are associated with broken or damaged or diseased skin. Omega-6 Healing Cream is the quintessential example of that strategy. I got a call from a, a physician friend of mine uh, 25 years ago, 1996, around 1996, so 26 years ago. And uh, he called me up. I was sitting in my lab. I was sitting in the pharmacy. And uh, he calls me up. He says, Ben, I got a, or I've got a problem. I got a patient who was a helicopter pilot, and he crashed into a forest fire. Did I ever tell you this story? I don't know if I ever yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah. He crashed into a forest fire, and he had some severe burns. And this doctor, he's a, uh, a plastic surgeon. He had uh, been he had been, he was savvy enough to know about the importance of vitamin C for healing the skin. This was back before vitamin C was the thing for the skin. Nobody really knew about vitamin C. So he said to me, I want to get this guy some vitamin C for his skin. And I thought to myself, well, vitamin C is ascorbic acid, right? It's not going to really feel very good on the skin, on a burn. You're not going to want to put it on the burn. Right. He says, I know, but I really want to get him some vitamin C topically. I think it'll be great for healing. I want you to figure it out. So I did. I figured it out. What I did was I took vitamin C in its fatty form. In, it's a form of vitamin C called ascorbyl palmitate which is used in very tiny concentrations in skincare products as an antioxidant to protect skincare products. But it's not used in very high concentrations because it's a real, it's super, super stable. It's so stable, you can't really put it into a product. It doesn't really work in products except in very trace amounts. So I spent a lot of time trying to puzzle this thing out and I came up with a way of putting uh, uh, ascorbyl palmitate, this super stable form of vitamin C into a skincare product and it created this amazing, number one, healing product, but number two, occlusive product. Occlusion is when you cover things up, which made it ideal for burns. And so this guy, his name is Jeff, used it, and he it worked so well for his burns, his insurance company ended up paying for it. His skin ended up looking beautiful, and I got the idea that if this guy, if this product could heal the skin so well, and if Jeff's skin could come back looking so beautiful, maybe it would be a good skincare product, just a good beauty product or a good uh, everyday product. And indeed it was. And that's what Omega-6 Healing Cream is. It is really a, a very dense form of vitamin C in addition to having some Omega-6 omega six fatty acid esters, which is a stabilized form of, of uh, Omega, I'm sorry, Omega-6, uh, and also provides transdermal penetration. So you get a little bit of penetration, plus you get occlusion, plus you get tremendous healing. And of course, when you get healing, you get beauty. And so what Omega-6 Healing Cream is, it's a healing product that you use for cuts, for scrapes, for burns, for any kind of broken skin. People use it on eczema. They use it on mosquito bites. Use it on any kind of broken skin. 
but you also get amazing skin hydration and skin beauty, skin appearance changes in addition to healing. And you do it in a vehicle, when you use an omega-6 healing cream, you do it with a vehicle in a vehicle that contains nothing bad for your skin, no preservatives, no fragrances, nothing that's going to irritate the skin because it's designed for healing. It's designed for broken skin and for burns, sunburns, diaper rash, especially. And you get all the beauty products and the hydration products that you want in a ordinary skincare product. The downside, it's not really a downside, but the trick to using it is use very small amounts, teeny, teeny, tiny amounts. And with all my two treatments, that is one of the that's one of the benefits and also the, one of the things that people have to be educated on because people are used to slathering skincare products on. You don't slather any of my products on, but especially Omega-6 Healing Cream. And by the way, it's great for lips and it's great for diabetic feet. You know how diabetics have like really rough, rough uh, callous skin on their feet. It's amazing for feet, even if you're not a diabetic, and also for lips. Anywhere where you want to have some kind of healing done, but also as a, it's also a great hydrating product and also a great moisturizing product as well. Just use really small amounts. I've used it myself. I've recommended it to patients. And yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Like you've said before, it, it's like a, a dose. You just need a little bit. It's like developed by pharmacists yes. to be recommended by pharmacists to tell patients that it's like a little dose. It's like a dose of, of medication. So you don't need a lot. Yes. Do you tell people like it's a little dose, right? I do. That's right. I love pharmacists so much. Because that's like second nature to a pharmacist. The dose makes the medicine, as we say in pharmacy. Right. right. And that's 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 not second nature to anybody but a pharmacist. Even a physician doesn't quite understand that nature of dosing. But really, I think skincare should be like medicine. You know, what's the one thing you want your medicine to do when you go to the drugstore? You want it to work. What's the one thing you want your skincare product to do? You want it to work. To me, skincare should be like medicine. It should have this. You should have. And judge it by the same criteria that you do medicine, which is, does this work? And all my true treatment formulations are, uh, are, are formulated and built with that one criteria in mind. Is it going to make a difference, a healing difference, a therapeutic difference, not a superficial difference, not a cosmetic difference, but a healing and therapeutic difference on your skin? Does it work at the cellular level? At the cellular level. Thank That's you. right. <laughs> Thank you for the education, Ben, as always. Thank you.